Hello Leo, welcome to my channel. This will be a reading for the week of the 30th of May. Please do bear in mind that these are general readings so it may not resonate for everybody. Take what does and leave what doesn't. If you like the reading, please do like, share and subscribe. I'd very much appreciate that. So, for this week, I will be divining through uh, herbal tea leaves <laughs> and pieces of fruit and rose petals that are here. Uh, there's green and black tea and strawberries and pineapple and rose. Um... Uh, but it's not the, the your traditional tea leaf reading in, in a in a cup. For this, I will be dropping the leaves uh, and others into the water and reading from there. Then I'll be pulling out some cards as well towards the end. All right, Leo. Let's see what we have for you. For Leo, please, for Leo. This is interesting. So, for some of you, I see here that uh, you may have um, come into somebody or a situation where they kind of try to rain on your parade in that sense, uh, but you're not going to allow them to. There's someone there that you're going to develop a good friendship with um, that will kind of give you a heads up. That's interesting. Um, but, you know, it could be family as well. It could be there's something there that's changing and you're moving on. You're moving away. And it could be something that possibly someone around you, uh, you've seen this kind of pattern of behavior before. But I do see you walking away from that situation. From that, I do see um, a friendship you know, you lose, as, as you walk away from something, you gain something even better, bigger and healthier. Um, and that's what I'm seeing here with this particular relationship or friendship. Um, and I, th there are certain challenges that you are going to overcome now. Something is freeing you. You feel a lot freer like uh, something has been lifted off and you kind of like climb that mountain you you've been climbing this mountain for some time and now you're reaching the top and you're going to at that point you're going to just easily go over it and continue along with your journey i see you wasting no time in this um in this situation that you're in and you are very much in in here very much the warrior you have that warrior energy. You're very much a fighter. Um, you are not quitting in terms of this this movement that's happening. You know there has been th there's been something here where you um where you've been kind of trying to to put like a tug of war is what I'm seeing here. Like you've had a tug of war, but now. You're the only one, um, you, you've basically won the tug of war with whoever that you were, um, you were kind of against or that challenge that you had. You, you win the tug of war by far. And as soon as I said that, as I was looking in that particular rope, that leaf fell. So you are definitely winning this battle for sure. Uh, it kind of just collapses around you and you're free. I see that you are setting yourself free here, Leo. And I do see you, you're going to be able to enjoy time. Time away. Um, you're kind of like you're allowing yourself to have enjoyment. Allowing yourself to just have those periods where you don't feel guilty about not doing anything. You know, it's it's just basically taking a break, resting, um, which you deserve to have. And for some of you, I'm seeing that you, there may be that guilt where you, you know, you can't be resting too much or whatnot, but th there's something coming in that will change that for you and change your perspective. And you're, you're just a, a lot better off for it as well. And there, there is um, some decisions to be made with a particular predicament that you could be in um, and you may feel like you were forced to make a decision at that moment 
Um, but here, it's following your gut, following your intuition. It will lead you to the right answer. And that's, I mean, you will be good after that. So whatever kind of pressure that you feel you need to make at that moment, um, go with your instincts. It's what it's saying here. Go with your instincts. You know, for, for you, Leo, you're able to really read the room very well. You know, read, read the, feel the energy in that moment in that situation or wherever you are to see what exactly is happening um i do see something unfolding you're, you're going to choose right for you um and i do see you becoming braver like that leo strength lion of you of yours you know you you're going to be very courageous courageous in just overcoming whatever it is but there's not that you know those if you have any kind of obstacles around you, you're going to minimize that. You're going to be so much bigger than that, you know, um, like that you'll be able just to tread over over them. So it's it's things will look and feel easier for you. Now, there is some kind of relationship unfolding. There is, you know, I see the other person coming in. If there is a connection, wanting more uh, and there's you kind of, I do see you wanting to slow the other person down. This could be just for some of you out there, but um, you, it's like you, you see the situation very, very clearly and um, you have questions. I'm seeing you have questions. So, it, you know, it's um, very much, you're very much in control here. And that's for sure. So there is amazing communication happening and the decisions that you're going to make will turn things around, will make things so much brighter and easier for you. So um, this is a, this is actually, you know, something so positive that in that moment, it's like you don't quite realize it. But when in fact the things around you are changing quite a lot, you know, even the even the certain um, connections that you have with people, there's something shifting where you are starting to realize and recognize that. Uh, and I think the reason for a certain hesitancy, because you realize that once this changes, it will be big and you are going to have to just adjust to this new way. But see the emperor. Oh, love it. Four of pentacles. And then the moon. Oh, yes, Leo, the emperor, the four pentacles and the moon. The emperor is very much your energy here. You know, you are definitely in power. You hold uh, the chess piece here. You are able to move things around. The Definitely you are the one that um, makes the choices. You have more authority than you realize. Here were the four of pentacles. As I said, there was that kind of hesitancy there, you know, and kind of feeling a little bit guarded, protected. Um, but for you, it's you wanting to make sure that you take, that you make the right choice. This could be in terms of leaving a job to go to another or, you know, leaving a job to do some something completely different or um, changing environments entirely or a relationship but he, and then here with the moon it kind of you know there is a mystery you are you may feel like you're stepping into the unknown but that's where i see you being courageous oh look the six of cups and the queen of wands yes you're going to definitely be happy with how things are starting to unfold and this uh, there is six of cups this connection also connection to um good parts of your past, good memories that will kind of allow you to push you along, something warm, something, you know, from your higher self, possibly those that are in the spirit world, you know, you feel that guidance. I am also getting here someone from, uh, someone that feels like is, has, you've known forever, kind of will feel, you may have known them for a long time, or you, they may feel that way but it's something that you you're there's an attachment and connection there um and it's like 
you know, there are arms wide open and you get you get a big green light, basically. And here with the Queen of Wands, you're definitely happy with the way things are going. You see it, the control that you have, the power that you have. You're able to spark so many different things in order for things to move forward. You know, you get the support that you need and you have luck as well on your side. You have the luck on your side. And it's, it's you know, up to you the way how you um, see it in order for you to achieve it. You know, that kind of like change in mentality and stuff. There's definitely... There's, there's a heavy big movement that's about to happen knight of swords and it will come in kind of quick here, here as well you know something could be and I think I think I said that I think you know that once you make that decision it's going to happen it's going to be big and will happen very very quickly things may not be the same ever again um, and it's kind of it's like you're starting the engine. You've been trying to start it for some time until you take that deep breath and you just go. You know, you make a run for it. Um, you, It's like what I can see for some of you, if we're talking about relationship here, I see that you're looking at this other person, you're looking out, and you know if it's a yes, it's a big yes to the other. It's like the other side is waiting, uh, they're waiting for you. And as long as, you know, because there's something here where they actually see that you have the power for this. And once you decide within yourself, you know, it will be big. It will be something that, are you ready for it? It's like you're asking, am I ready for it? Am I ready to make this big move? Shall I, you know, make this big change in my job um, and, and, and decide to do something completely different is what I'm seeing here as well. You're definitely evolving into a beautiful, spiritual, strong person that um, is important to listen to your intuition as well here. That's the sign here with the moon. So Leo, I love this for you. Something very kind of deep and spiritual is happening, uh, but that can change a lot of things in the physical world here. I hope this was helpful, Leo. Thank you all so much for your support. Truly, truly do appreciate it. Please do take care of yourselves. Until next time.